During this news conference, Oklahoma Senator Chuck Jolly was joined by the parents of Aaron Elizabeth Sweezy. She loved music, she loved the Lord, and wanted to share that with people all over the world. She also loved going to school at OSU. His daughter was killed by a drunk driver in April of 2009. Because a man got in a car when he had a blood alcohol level of 0.29, that's over three times the amount that's allowed by law, got in the car and drove it the wrong way on the Kilpatrick Turnpike. He hit Aaron head on. The driver who killed her also died, but according to the Sweezies and Senator Jolly, the tragedy should never have happened. The driver had a long history of drunk and reckless driving and had his license suspended, but they say the man still continued to drink and drive even while driving his employer's vehicle. We're going to require under this bill then to obtain a license from the Department of Public Safety that indicates that they have a DUI conviction. This places employers on notice that the person that you just hired is required to have an ignition interlock in order to use a vehicle. Senate Bill 529 would also require first-time DUI offenders to have a lock installed on their vehicle for two years that prevents the car from starting until the driver blows into a device which measures blood alcohol content. That device would remain for five years for second offenders and third offenders would have to use the device for eight years. The president of the Oklahoma Retail Liquor Association, J.P. Richard, says his industry is not opposed to the bill named the Aaron Elizabeth Sweezy Act. We think that repeat offenders should be required to have a um, interlock system and even we're not even opposed to um, the requirement on first offenders for DUI. But Richard does have a problem with a joint resolution drafted by Senator Jolly. SJR 35 would allow wine and strong beer to be sold in grocery and convenience stores. We find it a little disingenuous that Senator Jolly, on one hand, is, rep is introducing this bill, and then on the other hand, he's introduced uh, SJR 35, which would allow products that we sell in the package store, wine and strong beer, to go out to all the grocery stores and convenience stores in the state. Richard believes easy access to alcohol made at grocery and convenience stores will create more abuse and ultimately more DUI offenses. For ONR, I'm Liz Exon.